Cemented in pop culture as one of the most secluded and high security prisons of the last 250 years, Alcatraz is not a place you would have wanted to find yourself in. Based on a small island off the shores of San Francisco, California, the Alcatraz complex was used as a military base, a military prison, and a federal prison between 1937 and 1963. With such a long and interesting history, several mysteries surrounding the ex-prison have cropped up over the years. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three Alcatraz mysteries. Radar Discovery Alcatraz's structures were first constructed as a military outpost, hoping to be a line of defense from any potential invading forces. Few people know of its original role, and many aspects of the island's early history are overshadowed by its more recent past. However, in 2019, a group of archaeologists discovered evidence of hidden military structures beneath the federal penitentiary. According to the group's findings, they used non-invasive methods to create a map of the underground regions below the island. What they found was amazing, an incredibly preserved fortification dating back to the 19th century. The discovery adds evidence to the idea that although most of Alcatraz's 19th century fortifications were demolished in the early 20th century, some of it still lies intact effectively working as a time capsule to the long-since-gone period of Alcatraz's early history. An archaeologist from Bimington University stated, These remains are so well preserved and so close to the surface, they weren't erased from the island, they're just right beneath your feet. Before mid-17th century America, the island that would eventually house the infamous Al Capone was little more than a stretch of desolate land in the middle of the San Francisco Bay. That eventually changed when the US stationed the island as a defensive outpost, leading the island to have several structures erected on top of it. Due to its remote and isolated nature, it was difficult for the island to stay modernized in regards to weapons and artillery. Towards the dawn of the 19th century, Alcatraz's equipment was already obsolete, leading to the dissolvement as a military outcrop. Once the now famous penitentiary was built in the 20th century, the old fortifications were believed to have been totally replaced. However, these new findings state that some of the original buildings are still preserved beneath the island's current surface, using clever radar technology that measures the wavelengths of signals that bounce back from underground. Researchers were able to peer into the subterranean world below and discovered that a rich complex of underground structures has been lying hidden for centuries. This method of archaeology means that teams can easily map out areas without the need to disturb the ground or potentially damage any finds that may lie below. Without any manual excavation, the team of this 2019 study were able to find a labyrinth of subterranean structures. These safe ways of underground mapping are vital for sensitive research areas such as Alcatraz. John Martini, author of the study as well as an Alcatraz historian, stated, this, in fact, strengthens what a number of historians and archaeologists have long suspected. On an isolated island, there are only a number of places you can construct. Could there be more secrets to uncover underneath the surface of Alcatraz? What other government work could have been lost to the past? Below the surface, Alcatraz is still full of mysteries. There's still a whole lot to be learned. Man claims to have escaped from Alcatraz. Most people know of an escape attempt from Alcatraz. The subject of one of cinema's most famous movies, the 1962 escape has been shrouded in mystery from the get-go. The three men involved, John Anglin, Clarence Anglin and Frank Morris, were inmates at the penitentiary for their involvement in a bank robbery. Through their ingenuity, the trio showed the world that the high-security prison was not escape-proof after all. Supposedly, the men dug a small tunnel out of their cells using sharpened spoons as their only tools. The effort took months to complete and the men crafted a raft out of their raincoats and set off on the choppy San Francisco waters in the middle of the night. Despite their escape, the men were never seen again, leaving many to wonder if any of the escapees made it across safely. For decades, people have argued for and against the survival of the three criminals, with many believing that the swim across the bay would have been impossible for the three men to complete. 
yet people do swim the journey today. However, in 2018, an interesting development came to light thanks to the San Francisco Police Department. In 2013, the San Francisco television station KPIX received a letter from an unknown sender, claiming to be from the prisoner John Anglin. The now public letter is an incredibly interesting read, as it includes some closure on the famous mystery, if it is to be believed. It begins with, My name is John Anglin. I escaped from Alcatraz in June 1962. Yes, we all made it that night, but barely. The letter goes on to explain what happened to the other two inmates. According to the letter, the other Anglin brother, Clarence, passed away in 2008, while Frank Morris passed away in 2005, supporting the idea that the trio lived on into old age. That said, the letter is not all positive. John Anglin goes on to state that he has cancer and also tries to bargain with the police in exchange for medical care, stating that if you announce on TV that I will be promised to just go to jail for no more than a year and get medical attention, I will write back to let you know exactly where I am. While somewhat bone-chilling, the letter's authenticity has obviously come into question. It took the police five years to make the existence of the letter known to the public, and it was sent to the FBI for analysis on authenticity. Interestingly, in comparisons between the handwriting of the three inmates to that of the submitted letter, the results were inconclusive, according to the US Marshals. Relatives of the Anglin brothers stated that they would find roses supposedly left by John and Clarence for years after their escape, including their signatures. So, what could it be? Is this letter just some prankster with too much time, or could it be the last contact made by one of the United States' most wanted men? Is Alcatraz Haunted? Creepy ruins, abandoned prison, and scary island. It's fair to say that Alcatraz has all the possibilities to become a haunted hotspot. With centuries worth of history, by the early 20th century, Alcatraz was not a place you'd hope to end up at. But is the isolated island really haunted? There are many stories from the island's time as a penitentiary. Supposedly, many prisoners still walk the island, searching for retribution from their mistreatment at the island prison. Punishments at Alcatraz were harsh, and those found breaking rules were stripped naked and forced to be in a cell with no lights, sink, or mattress. To add to this, their only toilet was a hole in the ground. It's believed that many spirits can't move on from their final resting place. The strip cell in particular sees lots of ghostly activity. One particular cell of note is cell 14D, the so-called dreaded cell. The story goes that this cell is the location of where one inmate, after screaming that some kind of a creature was going to end his life, actually passed away. Through the night, the man claimed that something with glowing eyes was after him, and in the morning, the man was found by guards no longer alive. Modern-day visitors to the cell often state that they suffer from a cold feeling as well as a sudden change in energy upon entering the room. All of the cell blocks of the prison are full of activity. Blocks A and B often see reports of ghostly crying and wailing, perhaps the cries of prisoners who are tied to the island forever. Block C was the subject of much interest when a psychic visited the island and claimed to have come into contact with a spirit named Butcher. Eerily, prison records show that a man named Albi Maldovitz, a hitman who went by the name Butcher, passed away in Block C. The most famous inmate to ever step foot on Alcatraz Island was Al Capone. The gangster spent his last years alive in the high-security prison and eventually passed away from an STI that went untreated. Al Capone was noted to have played banjo with the prison band, often fearing for his own safety if he spent time in the communal prison yard. Capone managed to receive permission to practice in the shower room. Scarily, many people have reported that they have heard banjo playing through the prison walls, specifically coming from the shower room. Even those who are not familiar with Capone or Alcatraz's history have stated that strange banjo music could be heard in the prison, without any identifiable source. Perhaps the ghosts of Alcatraz prison wander the island in the hope that one day they might be released.
But what do you make of these Alcatraz mysteries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.